Um, I'm going to wait in on my next guy because he said he was going to be here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it's actually a professor of physics. He was, he was going to come. Um, honestly, he's not here. Oh, he's, sorry, oh sorry. never mind, never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Professor Rutger Gunderson.
questions. Any? Yeah. You're um, just full of questions, man. Very full of thank you. I listen to So you, you talk a lot about how physics makes you feel. Yes. Could you explain the relationship of things falling versus the feeling of being inspired? <laughs> <laughs> this is not your first physics class. <laughs> The feeling when you're falling, a lot like when you're, uh, more specifically, when you're leaning on a stool or something like that, and you're leaning back, and that instant right before you think you're going to go down, you're really not sure what's going to happen. And the same reason is when you feel inspired. All of a sudden you feel this surge coming through you, and you're just pushed in one direction. You don't really understand why it's happening. Well, in my class, I don't understand why you're falling. It's going to be gravity. But uh, <laughs> in a similar way, inspiration will push you up as gravity pulls you down. It's kind of a balance system, and that's a lot how physics works. Uh, balancing different laws. Uh, any other, any inquiries <laughs> that anyone may have? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm considering dropping this and switching to a chem major. What are your thoughts? Physics is everywhere. Chemistry is shit, okay? <laughs> Listen to me, you little punk ass bitch. <laughs> you mentioned chemistry one more time in my classroom. <laughs> I don't know, I'll push physics harder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, all the way in the back, yes. When did you fall in love with physics? Um, they ask first why you're sitting all the way in the back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you tend to the readings. Yes. Uh, you sit where you're most comfortable. Uh, what, what, do you ask why I fell in love with physics? When? When? Now. I feel like physics fell in love with me. <laughs> it's the more accurate statement. And I really don't know when that happened. I just know that I felt it too. <laughs> uh, so I think we're going to wrap it up a little bit. Uh, the last few questions, anyone have anything pending about the rest of you about physics in general, about what your physics course is going to be afterwards? Is where are you going to lead to? Oh, yes. Where did you get that fantastic sweater? This sweater? Yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, my grandma did it. Yeah. It's beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> I'd like one if you could, if you could knit me one, that'd be cool. She can knit you a sweater. Yeah, I just like it. Are you in this class? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, so I like to hear. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Lots of questions in the back, this is great. <laughs> so, how many textbooks do we need for this class? Textbooks? What are you thinking? We well, don't have textbooks. You're going to come here, I'm going to explain physics to you, and then we're going to feel physics together. Have you ever been in like a drum circle before? Yeah. <laughs> Many times. Then you know what I'm talking about. We're all going to sit around, and instead of a fire and drums, we're going to have physics and experiments. <laughs> That's about, I mean, if you've been in a drum circle, you don't understand. Yeah. Tell me more about the experiments. Oh, the experiments we're going to do. <laughs> See, I get a lot of play since this is Physics 101. None of you are engineers or physics majors, so I get to do whatever I'd like. I'm not restricted to just Newtonian things or electricity or quantum. We can do whatever we want. So I have a few that I think you'll enjoy, but I hope you'll have some I'll enjoy as well. <laughs> no promises. Check around, see that. <laughs> All right, I'll take one last question. Oh, yeah. If you guys have so many questions, why don't you sit in the front if you're so curious? I didn't do the readings. That's uh, okay. Well, there are no readings. What do you mean you didn't do the readings? Uh, never mind. <laughs> I was just going to ask, those experiments, is that like sex stuff? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not like sex, like, but this is a school. Can I, can I, can I late drop this class then? <laughs> no, you can't. Fuck. And you can't do sex stuff to get out of the sex stuff. Wait, there's no sex stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of a different class I'm teaching. No sex stuff. Uh, just physics. Just physics. Might feel like sex because it feels good, but it's, it's not going to be sex. Uh, all right, I hope you guys. Enjoy the school year. Thank you so much for letting me present. Uh, Professor Gunderson, yes. I thought you could maybe join some of our narrators. I have picked the most, uh, you know, phys like 
it's a strong physics, like a clip. I want you to help analyze it with our narrators over here, if you'd right. be so kind. Uh, yeah, all right, awesome, awesome. Everybody give it up for Professor Ralph Ariel. Dr. Gunnison. All right, here we go. This is, I, I found this clip, I thought it was very physically relevant. You know what I mean? Like, it all seemed to be put together very well. It looks real to me. <laughs> oh, God. Appreciate it. <laughs> yes. This movie's called Down the Mountain. I have more experience up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> the movie's called Net. Well, unless you so smart. Download Windows 7 driver. Okay, not as relevant. Um, so if you'll notice here, this is a really important part of mountain climbing, is the ability to jump out of a moving truck. Uh, wait, what? I love pushing cars down mountains. Uh, okay, that's a new one. That's never... Oh, there's supposed to be water in that. Oh my god. Okay, they don't have proper climbing gear at all. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's the car for How many things are falling down this side? We'll, we'll learn in this class that that's not actually how this works. <laughs> so what, what, what's wrong about this? <laughs> uh, Nicholas Cage can actually run that fast. Is <laughs> <laughs> oh, that He didn't even have to look because he felt the physics. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, in, <laughs> As a, as a side thing, then that guy almost got hit by just a floating wagon wheel. Why is everything chained together? How <laughs> <laughs> much stuff is falling? Is no one getting hit? Is that the point of the movie? It's like a, a, like a branch that was chained to a train because the branch fell on the train. That's how they did. So well, let's make some logs into this. <laughs> this is just snowballing here. So this feels very relevant to, to me because I think going going down, yeah, okay. going down a mountain is really the hardest part. I, I find, uh, especially when someone holds you at gunpoint and you get to the bottom. Wait, what? I, I wonder if this is um, if this is ever foreshadowed in the movie that she'll be there, or if that's a totally new character that was just introduced with a gun. Oh, it's a train. It's going to be a train. She's just. She doesn't care. It's coming. Mm -hmm. do, do you mind explaining the physics of that? How you know a train was rolling down a hill at you? What? I, I have no... That makes so much sense. I found no... <laughs> okay, I feel like I kind of uh, betrayed... I feel like that was the Nick Cage movie that was based on a true story. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to apologize to the audience. I felt like I didn't pull my weight on that one. I was watching the clip. And I was not <laughs> commenting on it. That was amazing. Wow. What? What? Yeah, that was that was inspiring. Yeah. Like, not people falling. That was inspiring. All right. <laughs> All right.